Hi, I'm Liam Neer from CKTV. I'm at the Sydney Opera House, and right now I'm inside the air sculpture named Mazzazzo. Now, each piece you see here is cut by hand and glued together by hand. Now, there's actually no electronic light. It all comes through the sun. The, the plastic here is about one millimetre thick. It, it, it's like a church. It, it emits the sunlight and it reflects the outer light. I hope you enjoy watching this. It's going to be very fun for all of us. I'm Lee Mir. Now, during the 70s, the CIA actually tested colours on people. They flashed them in a sequence of events and it would actually change their moods. Blue would make them calm, red would make them angry, green would make them sick. Now, this was soon closed due to the psychological damage it caused. And this is the artificial tree light. Now, this is the, ma the main area of the Mazzazzo area. Um, it emits light of its own, and it's the, basically the core, the most interesting place of this whole amazing place. <laughs> with James, the exhibition manager. So what is it like being here and actually looking at this new piece of artwork? Okay, well, for me, um, it's an old piece of artwork because we made this in our workshop in Nottingham, England, about a year ago. And it's traveled through probably about four or five different countries before coming here. Um, it's a great place for us to exhibit outside the Sydney Opera House. It's the most iconic building in the Southern Hemisphere. Mm. Uh, lots of people uh, have been coming to see it, uh, which is really good for us. And you've seen you had to line up outside for at least half yeah. an hour to get in. Uh, yeah. Do you think the different colours change people's moods? Yeah, everyone has their own interpretation of it though. It's impossible to say that red makes people angry and blue mm. makes people cold because everyone has a different uh, response to the colour. And what would be your responses? Um, that's difficult to say because I work here every day. Um, for me, I like to come in in the mornings or in the evenings when we clear all the people out and I can have it all to myself for five minutes. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's all right, yeah. I'm Liam Neer from CKTV. Um, it's like amazing, honestly. I'm probably for my grandma and she's missing. It's really fun. Hi, and what's your name? My name's Aitana. And what do you like most about this? Well, I really like the blue colour and the little K's there. Thank you very much. You're welcome. What's your name? My name is Jessie. And what's the most interesting part about this? Um, I liked the room where uh, the red, they're the same lines as these blue, but they're the red ones. Um, I also, I didn't think that I would feel so strongly when I came inside here, but I feel uh, it's almost like going back to the womb. Mm. It really reminded me of that. It's very like peaceful and internal and the way that you can see the light uh, diffused is sort of the way that babies see it inside a pregnant stomach. They can only see sort of red light when the sun shines. It's, all, okay. it's very similar. So, And what do you, do you think the different colors change your mood? Um, or bring maybe back so. memories or yeah, anything? Maybe so. The, I mean, you like traditionally you would say maybe the blue would be more peaceful and the red would be kind of a stronger feeling. Um, I, I'm not sure if the different colors changed my mood, but I did notice that I felt a little bit differently when I was in one of the rooms and the sun came out and the light went from being more low lighting to like a stronger light. Um, it just was a very different experience in that room. It changed everything about how it looked. Thank you very much. Thank you.